Hello and welcome along and welcome back to a very cold, very wintry Six Ashes. We are on our horse here. Uh, this is our Arabian and we're just going to canter along here a bit because I'm, I'm, I'm just finishing off the riding for the day. We've actually been doing a little bit more than five minutes on this horse. And, uh, and I want to just go down here and have a look at this area here and I'm just wondering oh yeah it is it's just around here okay slow down get off the fence there we go uh because somewhere around here is the entrance to this piece of woodland and i think for the winter we can't work the ground we can't uh do any crop work or anything this little patch of woodland here is for sale and would be pretty good for us to work i think so I'm just looking, yeah, so here's our entrance way into it. We can set up a nice little area here. And, uh, and yeah, I think, uh, I think this would be a good bit for us to do. Oh, entrance to field 30 here. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do a bit of that. Now, somebody suggested in, uh, last night's stream, actually, that the price of wood chips was pretty high on this map. So we're going to have a look at that. And yeah, uh, no, that is... Wood chips is that one, isn't it? 1,800 at the sawmill. And going up. I think we want to get some wood chip stuff done today. Uh, oh, the other thing I want to do before we go any further. I have decided on a name for this horse. Um, because last night, if you guys were in my live stream, uh, you saw... Well... I think, I can't think of a better name for this horse than Arc Dragon. So we're gonna name we're gonna name our Black Arabian Arc Dragon um, before all his support, his massive number of gifted subs in last night's uh, last night's stream. So uh, yeah, we just need to name the other horse now. I have yet to decide decide on a name for our other horse, but uh, yeah, our Black Arabian. I'm definitely gonna go with Arc Dragon 4. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this horse back up to our uh, stables. Uh, we will jump into the 6810 and head up to the shop, I think. And, uh, and we'll go and get some, ply some supplies and get ourselves doing some uh, wood chips today. I think is going to be good. Uh, although first, actually, I think we need to go and give the horses some water. So uh, that will be our first job before we head up to the shops. And here we are back at our stables. Just slow down a bit. We'll drop, um, drop, a, drop the horse off at the stable. There we go. And we'll just go and give him a clean quickly because looking rather dirty. Looking good. Yep, uh, both our horses are pretty happy now. Yeah, other than other than the top up of water, uh, I think they're both looking happy and healthy. Uh, daily riding, actually, Virgo, we haven't given quite enough daily riding to at the moment. So I need to go and sort that. And I've opened that gate with the tractor nowhere near, which is not good. Uh, let's look up to this. We need to put the rear bar back on this as well. Actually, no, we're going to take this then. Not if we're going to be faffing around with it. Because we want to take the 6810 out, don't we? So we might as well use that to do this job. So long as it fits underneath, it's, it's only a smidge higher than the uh, 5000. But should do the job still. And actually, we'll hook up to this a lot easier. We don't need the, uh, the extra bar to get this to hook up. I'm hoping we can avoid lots of back and forth today. Although we do need at least three bits of kit. Um, my hope is that this is going to be a way, uh, a great way for us to uh, fund uh, getting the uh, getting a trailer that we're going to be using next year. Uh, I think the actual forestry stuff we will just get the loan for. There we go. Unload. Fill the water up and they'll be happy. Like so. 
Yeah, plenty of headspace for this tractor. Oh, wow. Although that trailer is sliding a little bit. Close our gates. Just get that done there. Yeah, 80, 1800 per thousand litres for wood chips is a really good price. So we want to take full advantage of that over the winter. Um, we're looking at, you know, 12,000 for um, if we if we just get a full trailer of, of 6,000 litres. And that's if we go for a 6,000 litre trailer. So uh, this, I think, could end up being a very, very profitable way of doing things. So, uh, yeah, let's head up to the shop and grab ourselves some supplies. Down to the shop. We'll just pull in round the back so that we can uh, pop in and grab some bits. Uh, I'm going to start off very simple. I think there's another piece of kit that we might need if we run into trouble. Um, but it's quite possible that the, uh, the stuff we have should be okay. Uh, there's there's one piece of kit I really really want to get and I'm hoping works on here and if it's under the tippers it might actually work for us how we want otherwise it's gonna be a pain oh it's not here is it uh, that ransom's grain trailer is six thousand for three thousand pound that's a really good price um, that is nineteen thousand fourteen thousand for the cane the farm trek tech is 7,000, but if I want that capacity, that is going to cost me 7,500. Actually, that's not bad, uh, but that's only 5,000 liters. That's smaller than the ransom. I, I yeah, no, <laughs> not going with that. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, that is that is about it. So okay, so the trailer I was hoping is in here isn't uh, and I'll show you which one it is then it must be under misc I'm guessing uh, There it is this I really really wish this little trailer Did more than just carry boxes. I it would be a great little trailer with a fill capacity, but it doesn't it is a new Holland as well uh, which would have fit perfectly in with our farm. Um, but in fitting with the rest of what we're doing on our farm, we're going to head back here. We're going to get ourselves uh, this little Ransom's trailer. I really like this. This will work absolutely brilliantly with our stuff. Uh, so uh, we'll get this. It's only th uh, 3,000 for 6,000 litres, which is perfect. Doesn't have a rear hitch, unfortunately. So this probably means that in order to get our logging uh, or our next piece of uh, equipment, where are you? And uh, forestry equipment. Uh, chainsaws, forestry equipment, there we go. The next piece of kit we want is this, the Hyzo mat. Uh, now this also doesn't have a rear hitch, so this is gonna take two journeys to get these. This only requires 30 horsepower, so uh, uh will work perfectly for us but it takes small locks so uh we've got that we are going to lease this because we're only going to be using it during the winter uh we don't need to use it any other time i'm just looking at what the other bits for that massey pack were but uh no we're good um now this is the other thing that i want to get because that hooks up to a tractor and uh yeah and and allows us to uh split logs which would go into that that other bit it's 150 to lease that so we'll lease that as well if we're doing lots of trips back and forth we might as well get everything we need and so uh yeah this is our kit that we're going to be using and this should allow us to do a load of stuff oh the other thing i want to to get actually is a chainsaw and uh i'm gonna go for the style chainsaw yes okay right that should be everything we need to get this done i haven't put the lumberjack mod on here and i think i probably should considering what we're doing so for next time i think i probably will but we're down to 122,000, so we need to make 5,000 over the next few days in order just to to get to the point to buy the land we want to buy um 
which is not a problem at all. If we fill this trailer up a couple of times, we're going to do that. Now, can we pick this up? No, it has got to be a three-point hitch. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transport these three bits of kit uh, down to that location. And, uh, and we'll go and have a look and, um, yeah, see how we do. This is our little logging operation. It's 20 past one and we've got our uh, chipper on the back here. You might be able to see coming around the corner behind. We've got the Ford 5000 following as well. That's bringing our log splitter. Um, now, the reason we've got the log splitter is because this, this chipper does not take particularly large logs. So if any of these trees that we cut are, are particularly thick, uh, we'll be able to put them through the log splitter and then be able to put them through the chipper. Um, that's also the reason why we've got both tractors down here. Uh, it means we don't have to sort of switch between stuff all the time. Uh, we can just sort of have this set up. So what I want to do is look up. We have a PTO on this. I don't seem to have anything on this. Uh, so let's unfold this. I'm not sure this... I don't know how this runs, actually. And I think this is a grass field. I'm hoping this is grass field. Uh, yeah, it's all grass. So that's fine. Not owned by us. Uh, but we should be able to, at the very least, do uh, this stuff on it. Let's stop the other tractor. Back this up. And hopefully this will recognise the trailer. Otherwise... I'm slightly worried that this trailer, this trailer is not going to be right for us for doing the harvest. Um, the combine I'm looking at has uh, nearly 4,000 litre capacity. Well, this tractor does have, I have an issue with, in reverse, in that I'm having trouble getting it to reverse sometimes in the snow. I have to move forward a little bit and then back. But let's get this over the trailer. There we go. And turn that off. And then this with this log splitter. Yeah, look at that. That's sliding. Can we put the handbrake on? No, that tractor's just sliding. We need to get it on a flatter piece of ground. And the best place for us to do that is on the roadway here. So, handbrake off. But yeah. We are not sliding anywhere there. Okay, good. So, this is pretty flat, I think. And sliding forward slightly. On. Off. Right, that is now a stationary tractor. I worry that this is not going to hook up to this tractor here. Uh, let's find out. Lower it down. Oh, I think today is going to be a lot of setup, probably, for this. Um, I'll be surprised if this trailer... Oh, no, this trailer, I think, does have a low hitch. If this trailer is a low hitch trailer, then we're okay. It's, uh, it's if it's not that we might have a problem. Let's see. Ah, yeah, it's a low hitch. Old trailer, old tractor, they are going to work together. Right, and then we want to bring this in behind the chipper. So, yeah. So that will then work there. Drop that off. Yeah, I love that little ransoms trailer, but um, it is. Uh, it might be a good one actually, eventually, to put some. Uh, well, sort of as ha have as a second trailer kicking around. Uh, I think at the moment we just want to do this setup here and uh, you might have noticed there we 
go. Uh, you might have noticed that we haven't yet purchased the land, so we need to get that going as well. Now, this does not have a PTO or anything. Is that the trailer causing that? Wow. Yeah, there's no PTO or, or wires or anything to connect up to that. So we'll have to give this a go. Let's turn this on. Start her up. Turn it on. Okay. There is definitely something not connected. Ah, there it is. That hasn't stopped. Hopefully this will still work. Let's get rid of this first tree, I think. Don't have access. I forgot to buy the land. Right, let's buy our little corner that we're down at. And we're right by the sawmill as well. This is just the perfect place to buy. 17,500. Yes. And... I want to... Oh, this may not be the right way to do this. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah. This way. Take out the trunk there. Oh, you're gonna go on to my trunk. No, you are going to go on to my tractor. Oh. oh, look, the snow is melting. So my first cut went away from me. Hit my tractor and my trailer. Never mind. We're all right. We'll get this all cut up. So, is this... Cut that Break that up. And break that up. See if this works. Turn it. Right, so our tractor is moving itself away from the trailer. There we go. with the snow gone, it's still slipping. Amazingly, it's still slipping. Lift this up. Turn this. Might be able to feed this in. in one go. I don't think we're going to need the log switch on that. Like that. Is filling that up. This tells me that we have an issue on my lumber gang, uh, on my uh, forestry series, where it is all 
where we seem to be picking up the box heavier than, than we actually can. So I'm going to have to have a look at that and see why that is happening. This, something that is too heavy for us. If we can get a full trailer off this, that would work out very, very well. But that would basically pay for everything we've done today. And uh, clear us. So, that is still pretty ransom. There we go. So, first log that we need to split because this is now too wide to go into that. So, uh, place this on here. where I'd expect you to end up with these split logs. Yeah. Oh man, if you have to place them on here, this is going to be a very, very hard one. Having checked this, M. 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 Oh, hang on. N. Ah, N. Split the logs. There we go. We've got it. It's N, not M. And that should then come off here, look at that, and go into here. And if we need to split it further, we can, but that goes straight through. So that's how we do it. Yeah, I did have to go and check the mod hub and check it. It doesn't, I, I don't like it when um, mods don't actually show you what it is you need to do to get them to work uh, and instead you just get uh, you just sort of have to go and look things up it does annoy me a bit uh, this is yeah this is North Modding companies who um, who do uh, home acne, which we're doing on Forestry Fridays a fairly full looking trailer so we'll deactivate that we'll lift it up and reverse that and just disconnect it 
because this is the trouble with not having a tractor connected up to it. Is that I can't actually tell how full my trailer is most of the time. And if we cut another tree, we won't immediately need to use the locksmith. Okay. What I'm gonna do then is reposition our trailer. Get it back under our wood chipper. We'll turn the beacon off while we're at it. Okay. Hopefully now we can avoid dropping track, uh, trees onto tractors. Especially, it looks like it's basically cut away from me. Which makes sense. Right. Black track, nope. Oh, I don't think I, I think I cut the stump, not the tree. Yeah, let's try that again. There we go. Still not moving. It's going down. There we are. Right, let's get this cleared off the branches so that we can crack at this again. I don't own this. Oh, really? Uh, that's not good. So our tree has, but we may have to try and pull our tree back onto the land here. This is why we want to get it to fall into the forest. Because if it doesn't fall into the forest, we end up... Okay, let's cut this here. And if I'm lucky, what I'll be able to do... No, oh, we're going to have to... So the top half of that tree is stuck on that field. Quite a tall tree. To length, but hopefully, we'll go on the log splitter because this looks fairly wide at this point. Don't need a whole lot. Go Yeah, that is about the largest that will go on there. Won't take much more than that. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna have to split that. It's just about it's working its way through that. That has got to be a full trailer now, though. Yeah, there we go. Fully done. So, turn that off. Head on to this. And we have to, yeah, we have to push that tree or get something to uh, to grab that tree and pull it back next time because we cannot get the rest of that tree done. Bring this through here and let's go and make our money back that we spent setting this up. Well, apart from the, the actual forest, but the fact that we own the forest and we can uh, sell the forest back uh, for the same price means that uh, that we're good. But yeah, just round here to the sawmill, and it is the sawmill, isn't it? Do we want to sell this at? Uh, here. Wood chips at the sawmill instead of the biogas plant. Yep. Yeah. I can see the sell point as well. 
I'd say this is this has been a pretty successful run today. We are nicely set up. We're going to be doing some more of this next time uh, to get ourselves some more money. And uh, let's see if we can get... I think I'll go and see if I can get something that can pull back. Uh, or maybe we can go and get the logging chain. That would be a really good addition. So uh, I think we'll go and grab that. This, though is how much are we going to make of 6,000 litres of wood chips? And the answer to that question is... 11,000. Absolutely perfect. That is awesome. So that is where we're going to leave it for today. The sun is setting here on Six Ashes. Uh, we will be back uh, doing some more logging next time. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.